So I keep walking by this book and it calls out to be shared about because it's been such an important experience for me. It's Behave by Robert Sapolsky, though it's not actually his book, but what it stands for. One of the most spiritual scientific experiences of my life was going on YouTube and watching the 25 lectures of Dr. Robert Sapolsky on human behavioral biology. I've never seen anyone teach things so well. And I've spent my life reading science books about the brain and behavior. And what makes him so great is not only is he a cheeky, lovable lefty teaching in California, he also breaks it down so well and never lets you get stuck in your buckets. He starts off the class with genes and how if you're someone who studies behavior through genes, this is how you think things work. These genes lead to these behaviors. And then he spends a lecture or two on that. Then he tears all that down and says, here's all the evidence about how genes don't control behavior nearly as much as we think. And the next series of lectures is on neurotransmitters and how dopamine does this and oxytocin does that and how things are just run by your neurotransmitters. And of course, then comes a lecture or two on how all of that's wrong and the what neurotransmitters do is, is way overrated and not nearly so black and white. And he goes through that on every level of human interaction up to societies. And to have someone like him who knows the science of all of those buckets so well and someone who is in the field going to Africa studying baboons and how they behave as well as working in a lab uh, as well as teaching undergraduates which has to be the way to get yourself sharpest on any subject is to have a bunch of slack-jawed freshmen asking you the same questions every year and so all I can say is this is the written version of it. And so this is I, – I did like reading this book after the lectures because it had all the science in it and I could you know, fill it with my notes and, and things like that. But the lecture series itself, watching him lecture was just so inspiring. And along with Dr. Alexander Shulgin, those are the two people I would most like to lecture like. Um, and he's just such a lovable cat too. Uh, I'll end with a story he told about being at the uh, Folsom Street Fair, the big gay uh, festival there. And he was talking about uh, there was a scientific study that homosexual people had a smaller this part of the brain. Um, and there's a lot of pushback. It was German scientists. That kind of stuff was going on. But he said he got he got it. He saw a great joke because he was at the Folsom Street Fair, and it was a gay person wearing a shirt that said, "The only thing that's small about me is this brain section."